Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Sega Mega Drive and Genesis Classics. We're going to be skipping over the rest of the Echoes. I've tried, I've, went, I've gone through them. They're basically the same thing. Really good jump mechanics, good swimming mechanics. You know, you have the Echo thing, which of course is what it's named after. Very interesting gameplay, but like most adventure games from the 90s, doesn't really, I don't want to say hold your hand. See, I really don't want a game that holds my hand, but on the other hand, I also like a clear path on where I'm supposed to go. And from the 90s, they didn't really do that. So we're going to skip those. Um, I'm just assume that it's pretty much the same thing. All right, so we're going to be playing Eastwat, which I have no idea what this is. City Under Siege. So probably a shooter. My guess is a shooter. Kind of a beat-em-up Contra style, maybe. Okay. That's weird, but okay. Ultra ear programming? Iron sound fist dolphin? What? Iron fist sound dolphin? Some of these just... Okay, so the, he has an exosuit. I mean, that's cool. E-SWAT. E-SWAT. Cyber police. All right. Let's see what the gameplay is like before we actually jump into it ourselves. So you don't start with the e exosuit? That's bullshit. But it is a Contra-like. Or Bionic Commando-like, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so there's a duck button, which makes sense. I guess ducking first time you see these guys is probably a good defense. Okay, you can shoot up. That drone can take a lot of hits. Oh, that guy tried to knock you down. Also, it's kind of funny these guys explode when they die, but that's another story altogether. Maybe they're just carrying really volatile grenades. I don't know. That could happen, right? Why not? Um, sure, let's do the options. What the hell? We'll look at them. BGM1. I have no idea. We'll actually go to easy because I am a scum lord. Sure, why not? Sure. C is jump. I think we map the C to... I think that mapping still exists. I think we're okay. I'm assuming that means the number of lives. I don't know why it's called player. But again, since I'm scum, I'm going to put it up to five. All right. Let's do it. Okay. Start off as a captain. I mean, that seems a little premature. Should probably start as a private. I'm just saying. Guard Silent City. Sure. Okay. So, that's our jump button. That's our fire button. And none of the other things seem to work. Alright, sure. We'll just keep going this way. Duck. Duck works. Okay. Well, I mean, this is the part we saw. Of course, we can shoot up. Okay, so he just shoots randomly there. Okay. Okay, there we go. Got him. You're out. Remember, there's that sliding guy. Okay, we're not going to be able to hit this guy. Oh, hello. We did get hit there, and I think... Okay, we have a life bar. All right, all right. I see it. I see it. I see it. You guys should just die. Thank you. Thank you. That was a weird... Oh, okay. I did not jump in time, so I'm going to die pretty soon. Oh, I actually managed to get him. I wasn't sure that was going to work. Okay. They just jumped and then died. Oh, hello. You did shoot me, sir. And I could not shoot you, even though I was point blank. Maybe if I aimed up instead. All right. They're going to start me off here. That seems fair. Start me over because I screwed up pretty bad there. I mean, it's just, really, it's a matter of memorization. It's what these games mostly are. It's just a matter of memorization and pattern matching. If you can do that, you've got it set. Oh, okay, no problem. Took that guy out. Now we do have the sliding guy coming up. Yep, there he is. Okay, shooting him does nothing. In case you were wondering. Um, come on, I did this before. There we go. Oh! <laughs> I missed the jump. I just slid along to my death. Oh, man. That's hilarious. So when do we get the exosuit? It seems like if you're going to call this E-SWAT, we should have the E part, right? I mean, why don't we have the E part? 
waddling along here is kind of silly, but I'll do it. That's what it takes. Come on, you're out. You're out, though. There you go. Oh, oh, okay. No, he just smashed into me. That, that sledding guy is quite the trick. And really, I don't think we have enough in terms of real estate to be able to say, you know, this is, and, you know, get enough time to actually do anything about it. Oh, there's a level up. There's a level up there. How do we get that? Come up here. That's how we do that. Oh, hello, guys. You guys respawn, huh? Also, there's guys up top. I don't know how that's supposed to work. How are we supposed to get up there? Okay, so don't miss the jump this time. Oh, okay. We actually need to go this way. All right. Um, I stupidly lost some of my health there by jumping into them. They're going to respawn again? Yep. If we got points for this, it'd be fantastic. Okay, so we need to... How are we going to make this jump? Okay, go through here. Oh, okay, I just took a hit. For no real good reason. There's no reason for you to live. Oh, hello, guys. Um, I was hoping there'd be a way over here, but it doesn't look like it. So we got to go back and kill these guys again. No big deal. Should be able to make this jump, though, right? No? Okay... Come on. Come on, though. Okay, well, the guy shooting down at least didn't respond, so that's something. But how do we not make this jump? This seems like this should be an easy jump to make, but for some reason we can't do it. Okay, so... There's got to be another way up. This is a thing we can... No, this is not a thing we can stand... Oh, hello! Excuse me! That is rude. I can't even see you over there. I'm returning fire, but he's not doing anything. Who's shooting it? Oh, this guy. Because they all respawn. Okay. Um, hmm. Well, they don't all respawn. Like, the robot didn't respawn at all. The guy who shoots down only seems to occasionally respawn. These guys have incredibly slow reaction times. Worse than mine. Okay, it really seems like we gotta go this way, right? So, why can't we do this? It just seems like we can't jump far enough. Well, and I'm a puzzled man then, because I have no idea. It doesn't seem like we'd be able to make this. Yeah, we can't make this jump either. All right, I have no idea why there's just candles burning over there. That's what it looks like. I guess those could be windows. Okay, I and mean, we can jump a lot. Rick, do you to do? Okay. And we can murder these people all day. Are we going to have the same problem we had with Echo is we don't actually know where the hell we're supposed to go? Or I mean, this is just a skill jump and I'm just failing my skill check here. Oh, I just wrecked myself there by jumping instead of shooting. That was silly. Okay, one life left. This is getting pretty ridiculous, but at least now we're getting, making progress in the world. Alright. You get wrecked. You get wrecked. You get wrecked. If these guys stayed dead, I think we wouldn't have nearly as many problems as we do. There you go. For some reason can't hit this guy. Eventually it'll happen though, right? Oh, okay, or just get wrecked by that guy immediately. Some way to heal would be fantastic. That could be a thing. You guys are just gonna die. And then you die, you die. Really, the shot should have taken you out. I think the level up isn't actually a level up. It's a, um, yeah, it's a life meter up. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay, so how are we supposed to get this guy? Okay, jumping does not do it. Oh, I can intercept the shots with my own shots. That's cool. I don't know how that's necessarily applicable, but... I guess if I shoot his own shots here... I just need to time this right. Yeah, there we go. That did it. And I can shoot this guy here. There we go. So I can murder you. Hello. Okay, now we're back to where we were. Can't make this jump. There's no double jump. I'm double tapping just in case. Yeah, I can pause. That doesn't help me at all. No, I don't want to get out of here. Okay, so... Right, we have the guy over there who's trying to fire at us. Who respawned. This guy respawned, too. That's weird. 
Usually he doesn't. I guess if you spin too long over there, it will respawn. Or too long off the screen. Okay, so you guys are dead. He's not back yet. I can't make that jump either. I mean, I'm not Spider-Man. I can't stick to these walls. Okay, you all die. Can I... Maybe I need to, like, just be on the edge. Like, right there, and then try to make the jump. That did not work. My... Oh, that was... Oh, shit. That was it, huh? That was the end of my lives? No. Now I have zero lives. Okay. Thought for sure that was going to be the end of me. That's why I faced the wrong way there for a second, because I thought I was being select going to be selecting a menu item. Okay, it seems like there's got to be a way to get up on here. I don't know what it is, though. Okay, you just die. Yep, you guys pop out of nowhere as you do. Oh, okay, yeah, just get wrecked by him. That's okay, we have a life up coming up. Here we go. You die. Um, I think I intercepted the shot there. I'm not sure what happened. Okay, you wrecked. You wrecked. I think that was even a headshot. I should get points for that. Okay, good. Take the life. Time this perfectly. I mean, at this point, we should do no mistakes, right? That was super close, but it worked. I mean, I like the idea here, it's just the platforming added to it is making me a little frustrated because I can't get up here. I can't, I can't get up here though. Like see, they placed these correctly. But why didn't they place anything else? I'm supposed to be able to make that jump somehow. Maybe there's like a switch I'm supposed to hit or something? If so, I don't know where the hell that would be. Won't be on this side. Oh. oh! I got hit majorly there. That was awful. Yeah, I mean, there's no way there's a switch here or anything. There's some broken windows. I don't think I can do anything with this. Okay, the guy did not respawn there. It's always... It's always surprising who decides to respawn and who doesn't. Oh, hello. Almost got murdered by you guys because my reaction time was stupid slow. I can't... I don't have a defense for it. I'd say I was looking at the timer to make sure this episode doesn't go overly long, but I think that's already happened. Because <laughs> we're in the same... We're in the same loop we were in with Echo. Is that... I don't know how I'm supposed to get out of here. There's no way I'm getting over that way. Okay, so I can jump down. Jumping down now would kill me, right? I mean, the camera's not moving. I'm just wondering if I can just... That seems like that would just straight up murder me. I don't know there's any reason to expect anything different. I think I just die. These guys just constantly respawn. Okay, so then these guys are going to show up. Yep, there you go. So if I can't get up there, I mean, the question arises, how the hell did they get up there? Okay, nope. Did you get a cheap trying to make that jump? Maybe it'll eventually work? The thing is, this is where the demo ends. Or the attract screen, rather. Hmm... I mean, some good animations here. I just wish that we could see more of it in terms of, you know, gameplay. Okay, go away, guys. I only have two hits left in me. I have a feeling they're going to be taken out by accident. I'm just going to not see a guy show up for whatever reason. Or I'm going to take a jump the wrong way and fall to my death. That's probably what's going to happen here. Okay, so that's, like, where I need to go. I have, like, a single frame where I need to hit the jump button, like, just right. And that wasn't it. Now, I don't think we make this jump. I don't think it happens. So if that doesn't happen, and there's no way we can get... Okay, if there's no way we can get up, how do we get out of here? Okay, that was that was sucky. No question. There's this guy over here. Oh, I just died. All right. What the actual hell? I'm missing something. 
Yeah, continue, because we have it. But I'm missing something here. What am I missing? I mean, I'm not sure keeping keep going over the same things over and over again is going to help me here. Unless, like, you're supposed to... Maybe you get some iframes when you're hit, and that'll boost you up a level. So maybe we're supposed to leave one of the guys alive. Maybe that's why they keep respawning. Is because they're actually trying to help me. Could that be it? I'm going to be a little weird, but I could kind of see it. It's what a lot of Mario Maker levels do. As they have you take a hit, but not a hit that'll kill you. So that then you can make a certain jump. I actually bonked him on the head and it made me, it lost, cost me a little bit of life. That sucks. Okay, so can I bounce on these guys' heads? I'm going to try it. That did not work. But I wonder if I just did it wrong. It did cost me life when I hit them. That was a total screw up there. And yeah, see, it cost me life whenever I jump on these guys' heads. So, not a good long-term strategy. Okay, I thought for sure I was going to die there. Well, now I'm certainly going to die in the next hit, so I can't try that for too much longer. I'm not even sure if it actually boosted me at all. I'm trying to think my way out of this, I just don't know if there's a good thought process here. There's this dude. It really sounds like we should just be able to murder, murder our way to the top here. I mean, I like the soundtrack, it's cool and all. These guys don't actually fire on you at all. Okay, so loop around here. Can I... Okay, that just kills me by trying to bonk in his head. Okay, but now we can try this. Okay, first of all, do some experiments here. I don't think that worked. And I'm taking more... Okay, I'm just, just kill me. Just kill me straight up. Thank you. Okay, so jumping on their heads doesn't seem to do anything. This isn't Super Mario Brothers, turns out. How about bouncing on their shots? No, I get knocked a little bit there, but you do have some iframes, but I'm not sure how the iframes help you. I mean, aside from just making sure you don't get hit repeatedly. Okay, so that's not the answer. Okay, I just intercepted a shot with my own shot. There you go. Oh, just took another hit. I'm going to die. It's going to happen. Because the guy who slides is going to be right over here. Yep, there he is, and he killed me. There you go. I knew it was happening. I knew it. I saw it. I foresaw the future. It wasn't actually that hard to figure out. Alright, so unfortunately the first 30 minutes of this game is figuring out what the actual fuck. Which is too bad because I like the gameplay. The gunplay is actually kind of nice. Has a very, um, almost Mega Man-ish vibe. Very Bionic bi bi Commando is actually probably more accurate because my guess is... Once you get past this part, um, there's going to be, you know, actual upgrades that make it so that you're actually e-SWAT as opposed to just some random dude with a gun, which would be cool. But we're not there. Okay, just took him over the headshot. Go and take the life up, because why not? But yeah, I thought maybe it was purposeful these guys respawn, but I don't know if that can, that's actually true. Because you can't bounce on their heads. Oh, that life up actually gave us two life. I'm trying to get the timing right here. There we go. That worked. It looks like our head doesn't actually count as a part of our hitbox, which is useful. Kind of makes sense when you duck. Okay, none of these are like ladders or anything. They kind of look like you could use them as... Oh, holy fuck. What the hell? Can someone explain this to me, please? I'm going to... Is this actually an indication that... Holy fuck. Are you kidding me? How did that... I don't even understand. I don't understand. Someone help me understand, please. Okay, this is just straight up murder town. We can kill this guy, and we just need to time this right, I guess. There we go. Okay, that guy just ruins us every time. 
So then these indicate up. And yeah, then I can go up. That's ridiculous. And I hate you forever. Also, what the hell? Okay, M was just max life, I guess. This is gonna be a this is a leap of faith here. Bonsai! Okay, boss time. I mean, that's pretty obvious that it was boss time. Also, I can't hit worse shit. I think you should know that. But I appreciate they gave us a, a max life boost here. I mean, I'll totally stay away from that gun. Also, I can't seem to hit worse shit, just so you know. Oh, okay, you're just gonna come over and try to murder me immediately. Okay. I don't know how this is going down. I don't understand. Oh, hello. I'm um, just ruining my life, I suppose. I'm not sure how many hits he's gonna take, but it's gonna be more than three, I bet. Oh, okay, just don't don't get in the way of that. Okay, his tail rotor cannot be hit, which seems kind of bullshit, because that's usually how you take out helicopters in most movies, is you aim for the tail rotors. There he is. Okay, we jumped over him, and I think he's gonna explode now. Yeah, there we go, he exploded. You just need to be completely in the frame to do it. Okay, so the thing about the ladders totally flummoxed me. Because it's not explained anywhere. I guess they just want you to jump forever. Sure, second mission start. Let's do it. Infiltrate the cyber prison. Well, seeing as how we're not cyber at all, that just means we're going to get wrecked, right? Well, I don't know. If these guys die in one hit, maybe not. Okay, so we've got some kind of level here. Oh, shit. It's on rails. I can't... What? Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, so we move this way. I got you. Okay, wait a minute. So how are we supposed to get through these doors? Maybe... Jump through here? Nope, that's just gonna murder me. Oh, it did not murder me. Somehow there was a waiting thing there. Oh, here we go. So that's our way in. So we jump... I was jumping and hitting... Oh, there we go. Okay, so now we're in. Don't get wrecked. If I can only see yourself a for a little while here is a little disturbing. Wreck this guy, please, before he uses... There we go. Okay, so that was our way in, but um, I'm noticing a problem here and that I don't see a way to continue. Maybe we just keep going to the right... To the D, D block. They can't hit us on from that side. I also can't hit this guy. Yeah, I can't hit him from here. Alright, so then why... I mean, I can jump out again. But it looks like that guard took my platform. Oh. I can just walk along. That's hilarious. Did I kill him? I shot him. And we could go in. And I think we have to go in. Oh, hello. Okay, good. He's out. Takes like five shots to kill these guys. Yeah, there we go. Um, why do we want to do that again? Doesn't seem like there's a good, very good reason. So I guess I'm supposed to jump on top of these guards and then murder them. Which is going to cost me life. That sucks. Oh. That messed up. Okay, so we should see the guard come over from here. Or from here. Need to, like, shoot and then... Oh, that destroyed his platform! Oh, that's bullshit. Alright, so we that means you gotta go all the way over. Yeah, going in here is totally a trap. Alright, so we gotta go all the way back to our platform that's gonna respawn over here, right? Yep, there it is. Okay. So yeah, it's, I mean, it, it might be a way to gain score, but since they don't show you score on this map, why am I, why do I care? Can we just make it straight to the boss? That'd be hilarious. If that's what we're supposed to do, is just find the path that leads us to the boss. Okay, that isn't it. Oh, but what do these do? Okay, apparently nothing. There's gotta be a way in on every floor, and it looks like this is our way in here. Oh, right, except we fall to our doom here. Okay, let's try that again. Right, because there's a certain aspect of these that are just locked off for whatever reason. Yeah, so I can't go in there on that side. So maybe this side? 
Oh, it's funny. We just ran it over without even really paying attention to it. That turret was worthless. We can't go in on this side. Unless we're supposed to break the laser bars there. Maybe we do that from here. Don't see where we would do that, though. Oh, oh I just got shot and murdered because I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at the background and not the foreground. That was silly of me. It's our last life. Okay, so I don't think we need to bother with the bottom floor at all. Probably pretty useless. Did I kill him? I can't tell. It says go. If I hit like up, no, up did not do anything. Okay, well I can murder this guy and that destroys the platform, but I can only have one speed and that is slow, slow walk here. Okay, well, I'm sure shooting these guards is all very good and everything. I'm assuming these are guards. I guess they're not really guards. They're probably not, right? Because we're supposed to be a cop. There's no way a cop's killing other cops. Okay, just, that thing just getting run over. So what do you do here? Okay, another turret. We can just run over the turret. Oh, that did not work. Oh, and I just got murdered for no reason. Okay, so that was this game. Whatever the hell this game was. What do you call this game again? This game is called... Eastwat. That was Eastwat. Interesting aspects, but I can understand why it never really became one of the greats. Is uh, some obtuse mechanics that really aren't explained. And the maps are a little bit... Um, you know, it's, it's one of those problems when you're designing a puzzle... The solution to you seems like cake because you already know the answer. So you're designing the puzzle with the answer in mind and that can actually ruin it for the people trying to figure it out going in blind because they're not in your head. They have no freaking clue. And that's the problem I think this game runs into is that it's not very well designed for other players. So that's too bad. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. This has been the Sega Mega... Drive and Genesis Classics on PC Universe, your PC Universe 2. I'll see you guys next time.